avocado, and one and a quarter cup berries. We're going to use a little bit of raspberries and blueberries. Put everything inside the food processor. We need a quarter cup more. Had a couple of strawberries, so I figured I'd throw those in there. Three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. hasn't been stirred yet. All right, two tablespoons almond butter. This stuff is so good. It's a little hard to get out there. It may be easier to use a spoon and just eyeball it than use this kind of scooper. All right, now we gotta put in one and a half cups almond milk. Now there's a really cool recipe that I got out of the How Not To Die cookbook on how to make almond milk. Or if you want a recipe on how to make almond milk from scratch, check out Vegan Mike, he's got a couple of videos on making plant-based milks. They're really fun, the way he produces his videos, and educational. We need one and a half cup. There we go. Be sure to check out my video on how to make almond milk, the How Not to Die cookbook way. Now we're gonna add a half cup of date syrup that we made from the simple preparations in the beginning of the How Not to Die cookbook. And store the rest. We're gonna blend this up till it's smooth. Cut. See when I do this, not only do I make sure I'm getting all the little chunks out, just gonna do a little. Piece. Next is a fourth of a cup of chia seeds. Oh yeah. All right, this is the hardest part. You gotta pour what you've blended here into this mug or whatever you've got that you can cover. And then you gotta wait for eight hours before you can even eat it. I promise you though, it's gonna be worth the wait. Here we go. Let's see if I can do it without making a mess. Ooh, patience, so far so okay. Somehow it's making it all in there. I feel like it's, it's destined to spill, but I'm sure there's a better way to do everything that I'm doing. Cause like I said, I'm not a cook, but we're learning. Look at that, didn't miss one drop. Divinity, Vegan veganivity. All right, so that was about four cups worth. Four cup jar. Just gonna cover this up, stick it in the fridge for eight hours, and then enjoy.